Despite child labor laws, thousands of underage children are seriously injured or killed while working at part-time jobs. A new documentary produced by Lifetime Cable and narrated by Amy Irving has finally brought this problem to light. You're about to see just one child labor violation out of the thousands that occur every year. 10 a.m., a school day, New York's Garment District. A state labor task force begins a surprise search of sweatshops. Purpose, find the kids working illegally. Hi, do you work here? I'm an investigator with the New York State Department of Labor. I just need some information about your employment here. She's not allowed to work here. You have to be at least 18 to work in a factory. It would appear by her physical appearance that she's around 10 years old. Joining us now is employment expert David Bowman, along with Valerie Tyra, and his son Matthew Garvey, who was permanently disabled while working at a part-time job. Morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. David, a recent study indicated that child labor law violations are up 150 percent in just the last five years. What constitutes a violation? Well, all kinds of violations, Gary, but of course, underage teenagers working in sweatshops, as we just saw, is, is a major area, of course, and some of them working for $2.50 an hour in deplorable conditions. Other, other areas, for instance, the three-day crackdown that they talked about, 7,000 violations in 3,400 businesses. Incredible in just three days. Areas such as teenagers working too many hours in fast food shops, e example. Kids working around very heavy machinery, cleaning, uh, slicing equipment, and so on. And, of course, safety law violations that are just all over the wall. Well, we have a devastating example of that with us today. Valerie, let's go back four years. Matthew was 13 years old. He came to you, told you he had gotten a job at a car wash. Yes. What was your reaction? Great. What are you going to do? He told me he was going to be towel-drying cars. And that seemed safe to me. And... Uh, I, I w wanted him to work. I was very proud of him. You thought it was a way for him to exercise his independence. Exactly. Even though he and was only 13. Yes. What did you do as a, as a car toweler offer or whatever they call it? Uh, I, I washed the cars off with the towels and I washed and dried the towels. Uh -huh. And um, the towel dryer was working without a top. The it's towel dryer was the, uh, the... It was an extractor. An extractor, which sucks the, uh, sucks the, water, the water out of the towels. Out and it spins real fast. Okay. So it's a machine that spins things? And you uh, say it didn't have a top on it. Was this a safety top? Yeah, it was supposed to have a top on it. So it would, when it was closed, it would work. When it was open, it would just automatically cut off. But it, the top broke off, so then they fixed it so it would work with a switch. All right, and how were you injured? I was sitting on the dryer, and my leg got sucked in and just ripped my leg off completely. You had gotten was, on top of it, too? You were on top of the machine? Yeah, I was sitting on top of it, because the hole was that big. Yeah. And the way my legs are, my legs wouldn't go into the machine. And I was sitting on top of it because it was hot and it would blow cold air out of it. Oh, I see. So after that, somebody was burning hair in my leg. I lifted my leg up and it sucked it down in there. And that, after that, I remember pushing myself out and it spit me. I went about 10 feet. So the machine threw you 10 feet across the room. Was your leg, where was your leg at this point? I was laying on the street and I looked up and I heard my leg in the dryer. <laughs> because it was still in there spinning around because it wasn't... And I heard a thumping of the dryer going around, so that's when I looked up. I didn't see it, and I was asking them where it was, and then I heard it. So I was going to get up, but somebody came over there and put me... Now, right when you say your leg, Matthew, you're talking about from the knee, or...? It came... It was from here down, but it's on this one. Yes. My, my leg comes up... From, my leg comes down to here. Okay. Like, now, this is... This is what it is. This is what I. Yeah, this yes. is what this is what I have now as my leg. And you, know, you were thirteen. For something that they oh. they find them four hundred dollars, so I have this. The fine was four hundred dollars to the car. Well, this has something to do with workman's comp. Am I correct, uh, David? And and we don't want to get sidetracked here, but it seems to all of us uh, that. Uh, th there isn't enough money to pay for the loss of a leg, regardless of how old a youngster is. But I would like to know, Matthew at 13, did he have any business working as no. a towel dryer or Absolutely car dryer? Absolutely not. Under 13, and at 13, he that. certainly had no, you had no business working in that on that machinery, right? Nobody Valerie? under 18 should be working around that kind of machinery. And I didn't find out until later that he was taught the first day how to operate that extractor. 
We... So it must be very painful for you, too, as the mother, to stand by, it... because you thought you were making the right decision for I, him. I did, and uh, in the beginning, when this first happened, all I, I was, all I could think of is, thank God he, he survived it, he's alive. But then I became angry, and I started talking, and I started, I talked to anybody that would listen to me. I testified before Congress. I've done interviews for Family Circle, everything. We were in the documentary. I feel driven. I just can't stop until something is done. Matthew, are you angry? Yeah. What do you think this is, I mean, how is this going to alter your life? Um, it has a little bit, but I still do the same stuff that I used to do. I mean, I go on with what I'm going to do. I mean, it's not going to stop me from doing what mm -hmm. I want to do, because I'm not like that. What do you want to do? do that. I want to um, get, get in a computer program, and I want to go to job court, and then go to college. Okay. Good for you. Good for you. Well, is there anything that is being done in the legislature? Lots is being done in, in, in the legislature, uh, some state as well as federal. Uh, one of the things that the federal government's doing is, is putting a nationwide accounting system together to find out where these are happening so they can, they can really target in. Injuries, a nationwide injury bank. In other words, where are the injuries and what are the injuries so they can track these things. Another area, of course, is, is protections for, for kids. Uh, machinery like what, what we just, just saw, as well as heavy machinery, cleaning heavy equipment and so on. Things like pesticides. Kids cannot go into fields where there are pesticides that are being sprayed. This has happened before, believe that or not. And of course deliveries. Delivery kids under, under 13 even are, are into vans. What kinds of, of vehicles can kids deliver things in? And of course work permits. Businesses have got to have work permits, and this is part of the legislation, and of course, stiffer penalties. Now there are, are penalties for, for civil violations that go up to $10,000. Uh, multiple violations will have criminal penalties, and if there are deaths involved, we're talking $250,000 and jail time, and rightfully so. Anything to add, Valerie? Anything I'd like to add? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Parents, call the Department of Labor, get a minor fact sheet, Sit down with your teenagers and go over it. Make them aware of what they are supposed to do and what they are not supposed to do. Encourage them to stand up to their employers for their rights. They don't have to do what their employers say if it's illegal. And if all the teenagers in the country will take this advice, something like what happened to my son won't happen. Matthew, good luck in good whatever luck you choose to, yeah. to do. Thank you. Valerie, thank you, David. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. For more information on child labor laws, call the U.S. Department of Labor's Wage and Hour Division in your city.